Figment offers free access to Avalanche's APIs, which developers can use to build decentralized applications and unique financial products. To get started, first we need to create an account on Figment. Once we create our account, we'll get an email with a verification link, and when we click the verification link, we will be signed in to Figment's Data Hub dashboard. So let's start by creating an account. I'm going to be using throwaway values um, for this lesson, one time use values, and the password. As I mentioned, these are throwaway values. So whenever you're creating your account the first time, you select the network that you want to connect to. We will be selecting Avalanche. We then accept the Data Hub privacy statement and we register. You can see a message with a confirmation link has been sent to the email address. So now we jump over to our email address. You can see here. And we give it one moment for the confirmation email to show up. Here we go. You can see it says verify your email to get started with Data Hub. And then here is this link. I'm actually going to copy this link address and open it in this window. Okay, our email address has been successfully confirmed. And here we are on the Data Hub dashboard. So once you're signed into the Data Hub dashboard, you will see available protocols. And you will notice that Avalanche is already selected. This is from whenever we were going through this sign up flow. We chose Avalanche as our protocol. If we click on Avalanche, we then land on the Avalanche dashboard. And you can see that Figment and Data Hub let us know right away that this is their free tier. So um, as you can see here, there are multiple tiers. The first one is their free tier, and it comes with 200,000 daily RPC requests. And if you want to upgrade, you can see they have these upgrade prices here. So if 200,000 requests per day is not sufficient for your um, needs, you can upgrade to a paid tier. As we look at the Avalanche dashboard, there are a couple things to take note of. First, at the top, you will see that there is um, data visualization, which once we start making requests, will show us how many requests have been made for each day. Below that, it lists our current plan. You can see that we are on the free plan by default, which has 200,000 um, quota for each day of request total. And we've used zero at the moment. You can see usage rate is 0%. And then there's the option to upgrade. Below that, we can see our API key. This API key will actually be passed in with each request, which authenticates us to use the Figment Avalanche RPC endpoints. And then lastly, below that, we can see the service URLs. Figment provides us with a mainnet URL, as well as a Fuji testnet URL. And if you click this documentation button, you will see they give you a simple curl request so that you can confirm that everything is working properly. But we're going to test that right now. So we copy our API key, we go over to a terminal, we call a curl to Fuji, and then we want to enter our API key. And so you can see that here we are doing a post request to the Avalanche dash dash Fuji Figment RPC. We're passing in our API key, and then we're calling the info.getBlockchainID RPC endpoint, and we're asking it for the blockchain ID of the X chain. Okay, and you can see that was successful. And if we rerun that command, and instead of running it on Fuji, we query the mainnet, you can see it worked there as well. And so this is the X chain's blockchain ID on the mainnet. So that confirms that everything is working properly. Lastly, we would like to connect our Figment network with MetaMask. And for that, we are going to jump on over to MetaMask. And here we want to create a custom RPC. And you can see we're going to create a new network. In this particular case, we're going to call it Figment Demo. Below that, we want to um, add the value of the Figment Fuji RPC, which 
uh, Figment provided us here, this URL, and we're going to copy our API key and put that here. Next, our chain ID. So our chain ID is 43113, but MetaMask wants us to enter it as hexadecimal. Next is our currency symbol, which of course is going to be a box. And then lastly, our blockchain explorer URL. And we are going to use our testnet cchain blockchain explorer. So now if we hit save, that worked. And you can see we are connected to the Figment demo network. And we have this Figment MetaMask account that I created and it has zero Avox. To confirm this worked, we can copy the address. We can go over to the faucet. We can add a C to the beginning of that address and confirm we are not a robot. And then we can request to Avox. So it was successful over here. Now when we go back to MetaMask, We will wait for the funds to arrive, which should be very shortly. There you go. So you can see this too, Avox arrived at this MetaMask account over the Figment RPC calls on the Fuji test net. So this demonstrates that we're able to create a new account at Figment. We're able to generate an API key. We're able to make curl requests to the mainnet and the test net using Figment's RPC, and lastly, we're able to connect MetaMask to the Fuji testnet over the Figment um, RPCs. So as we stand right now, this instance of MetaMask is interacting with the Fuji testnet, and it can interact with any smart contract, including Pangolin, AMM, and anything else. So thank you very much.